So let's say we're given the question, convert 75 miles per hour to SI units. So 75 miles per hour, that's 75 miles over an hour. Okay, that's, I set that up so I can get a, a ratio so that I can multiply that by something to make the things I don't want go away. SI units, that's meters per second. So I need to get miles per hour into meters per second. So if I know, I need to get rid of the miles, so I'm going to put that on the bottom. If I can convert from meters to miles, that will get me to cancel those, and I'll have meters, then I'm halfway there. And if I multiply that by, right now I've got hours on the bottom, so I need some hours on the top, and I need to get seconds onto the bottom. So I need to figure out what numbers to put in here to be able to solve this question. So I happen to know that there are 3,600 seconds per hour, so I'm going to put that here, 3,600 seconds per hour. So now my hours have canceled, I've got seconds on the bottom, so that's fine. Meters and miles, I don't know that one, but in my textbook, inside the front cover, there are conversion factors, and I can look here and it says one meter equals, let's see, 3.281 feet. I could use that, but I don't have feet, I have miles. Is there another way to do it with miles? There we go, I've got miles, 0 0.621 miles, 0 0.621 miles equals 10 to the third power meters. Okay. So 0 0.621 and 10 to the third, now my I'm left with meters per second, and all I have to do now is take my 75, multiply it by 10 to the third, that's 1,000, divide it by 0 0.621, and then divide by 3,600, and I'll get the answer. I don't tend to do all of the math live on these videos. Once we get down to an equation like this, you can punch it into your calculator.